Hi everyone, thank you for stopping by and, and watching my channel. This is Alicia with Alicia's Creative Paradise. And I would like to show you some dyeing that I've done. And I actually tried the avocado dyeing and I'll show you that first. I didn't know how to do it and I looked it up and I do like the results. This is a, some index cards that have the dots on it, like the Rodea paper. This is a tree book from the 70s. And a quotable mom book that I tore these out of. I thought about putting these in journals, just cutting them out, collaging with them. It turned out real pretty. An envelope. I do like the envelope. I'm going to do more of these. It does come open when you when you dye it so I guess the water releases the glue but that's good because I can work with that I'll glue it back together and here is a tablet a climbing roses book I hope you can see the color now some of these I double dip because they weren't uh, dark enough this one turned out kind of light. There's some dictionary paper. This one's double dipped. This one's dipped once. I like that little ship on there. And then this is a 1970s gardening book. The paper were, was already green. So uh, you can barely see a hue of pink in that. And this is a flower book, and this is the one that I dipped twice, so it soaked it up better on the second dip. Okay, and a catalog for ordering vegetables. I've already started, uh, cut it. <laughs> I've already started trying to work with it for a journal. And this wonderful macrame book that I've had for a long time been saving it it's from the 70s and the paper is really old and I really like the way this turned out I can't wait to use it in a journal more Rodia paper this is from the tablet that I got at Michael's all right and then let me show you my coffee dyeing I love coffee dyeing and I'm developing my own little techniques on coffee dyeing I actually discovered I can use my convection oven to coffee dye in it really does a great job of drying the paper out this is a tablet from the Dollar Tree it comes with all these different colors and look how pretty and vintage it made these papers look I really like the way that turned out a travel book that I found at a thrift shop like for Europe, it had these maps in it, and I like the way the paper feels, and I thought that would be nice to coffee dye. This is from a tablet. I do like the way this looks. Tree book, coffee dyed. Looks really nice. I like that one. This is a Climbing Roses book. And it's really thick paper, and it soaked up the coffee really nicely. There's another one. It's just really grungy looking. I like the way it looks. And then these here. There's another roses book or flower book. Dictionary pages, of course you know they're going to turn out nice. This is from the 60s. I do like the way it looks. You can collage with it. And... Now here's a, a primary tablet that I found at a thrift store. And, oh gosh, look how nice. It turned out so pretty, the coffee dyeing. And let me show you... Here's the tablet. 
I remember having one of these when I was in kindergarten so many years ago. <laughs> really nice to find that. Some typing paper and different types of tracing paper. I have the Reeves brand, this one, which is opaque, kind of. It's not as see through. And this is a Canson brand, and it is more see through. And I like the two different looks of the tracing paper for a journal. Now, this is exciting. I found a book at Tuesday morning with this, it's full of ledger paper. Oh my gosh, it turned out so nice. And the, the pages are so big. This is already cut down. And I'll have plenty of ledger paper <laughs> for a while. And this is manila paper that I've had. I have a bunch of it. And I always thought, well, I can't use it because it's so flimsy. And so when you turn a page, it might rip. But when I coffee dyed it, it made it stronger. So I think it'll be fine in a journal. And this is just some drawing paper. It's pretty thick. Drawing paper always comes out with really neat results when you dye it. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, this is an experiment. This is beet dyeing. I used beet juice that I had sitting on the counter. And look how pretty. This is the primary tablet, and I hope the camera shows how pretty it is. Look at that. This is the beet juice, and all this was white drawing paper, and this is how it came out in my little convection oven. So beet juice. I'm going to be using that again. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like my video, go ahead and... Uh, give me a like and subscribe hit the bell because I will be having new videos coming out journal flip throughs and maybe some crafting uh, with you videos so come back again thank you so much and have a wonderful day